Hey yo, what up guys? Welcome back to the Hot One Elite channel. Today I'm going to be telling you why you shouldn't bring your car to the dealership for service on your 1LE or your track car, which is obviously my fault. Uh, let's get into why and the uh, repercussions of what could happen and how I'm going to handle this. Let's do. So I'll start this off by saying I have brought my car to the dealership before. Uh, they did a, I have them do basically a brake bleed or flush my brake fluid and in that respect um, you know I get a nice firm pedal they cycle the ABS and that's something I wanted done even though I didn't really need it uh, so long story short I switched to Motul 600 in this car um, basically for track use you have to use a dot 4 fluid I decided to use Motul 600 and it was great for about six months and it absorbs water it does and you notice this so it was absorbing water and uh, you know you could feel it in the brake pedal gets a little spongy so you flush it out so I, I did the brake fluid change myself I got a motive power bleeder um, and uh, you know I did it and my brakes weren't like a hundred percent as stiff as they should be and I was like okay maybe I'm doing something not a hundred percent correct right but what I did notice is when I was doing this change I noticed my outside brake caliper bleeder was actually not draining fluid whatsoever. It was coming out the bottom of the bleeder and not the top through the tube. So the bleeder, the bleeder is this guy right here. It's what's underneath this cap. It's this. So that's the actual bleeder, right? So what you're supposed to do is you put a tube on it, you break it loose, fluid pops out. Um, that's how you bleed your brakes. Well. I couldn't bleed the brakes. It, it wasn't bleeding there. So I thought, okay, let me bring it to a dealer. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I had the motive power bleeder on it. It had pressure of 13 pounds. This thing should be bleeding. I bring it to the dealer. I give them Castrol SRF. I give them $140 worth of brake fluid. Um, this stuff's a little expensive and you have to buy it in bigger bottles. So that's why it's $140. <laughs> but I give them this fluid and they say they do the job. And I had mentioned about the brake bleeder and they said, oh, that's weird. And they said, we'll take a look at it, and nobody ever said anything. So I was like, all right. So I drive my car for about two, three days, and uh, I noticed that my brake pedal is squishy. So I go start doing some more research about it, information, thinking maybe my pads, check my pads, things like that, trying to rely on the fact that my dealer probably did a good job. And, uh, well, I go ahead and I start bleeding my brakes all over again, right? Um, just put some of that castor oil, trying to make sure there's no air in there for some reason it's in there and I come up to my driver's side brake bleeder and um, I go to open it and nothing comes out so I'm just like how does this make sense so I had bought brake brake bleeder valves let me show you um, where the hell did I put those here they are so I actually bought some from the dealership. Now I did this before the change. I told them I had them and I left them in the car for them um, just in case they needed it. Well, my brake service guy, he didn't care clearly because this is gonna be hard to see, but I'm gonna show you. All right, here we got the two bleeder valves, right? This is the one that came off my car. You can see there's a little bit of red paint on it. Um, that's, that's normal. Not a big deal. And then here is the brand new one. Now they're both the same part. They're both the same thing, but take a closer look. And this is the driver's side one. As you can see, look at that hole in the bottom of the valve right here. It is clogged, dude. It's clogged or it's plugged or it's not opening. One or the other, it is plugged on both sides. You cannot get fluid out of this. In retrospect, here's a brand new one and you could actually see through it. And obviously it's open, so when it's loose and opened, it should be flowing fluid like it would out those holes. This guy's not going to flow fluid whatsoever. So therefore, <sighs> the dealership didn't bleed the outside caliper pin. Now, the outside pin is the one that drains the most fluid. Um, it's the one you primarily want to do. And my theory is if the guy was doing the brake bleed, he did the inside bleeder valve. There's two on these uh, Brimbos. And one's inside, one's outside, but the outside actually does way more um, clearing of the fluid than the actual inside one does. 
So, yeah, they didn't do that, and my brakes were squishy uh, a couple days later, and it was so squishy that I was actually coming off the freeway once, and I was, like, digging into that pedal going, whoa, what the hell? Now, maybe not air, but it could have been some of that 66 or Motul 600 that was left over and had absorbed water and was still actually in the caliper. So, at this point, I... I replaced it, I bled my brakes, just a quick bleed with my Motive Power Bleeder, and they're a lot better already. Um, I want to say they're 100%, I might bring it to a shop, um, I don't know, I gotta get more cash for SRF, but long story short, the dealer didn't do my brake bleed correctly, and um, you know, what if I went through this thing on a track or something, you know, I'm using dot four fluid, I'm using track fluid, so kind of goes to tell you, don't trust your dealership for this kind of stuff. Go to a performance shop. Um, somebody on the forums uh, recommended me over to Amp Performance, which is also known as, I think, uh, Import Performance or something of the nature out here in Orange. And I'm going to be going to them for uh, my brakes, and I'm not going to the dealership for pretty much anything anymore. Um, this one this one disappointed me a bit. The, my dealership's been pretty good, but I, I don't really uh, you know, play too kindly with people that make mistakes on my car. And uh, it seems like everybody that touches my car, which not everybody, but it seems like places that touch my car just seem to be having a bad day that day. Um, so yeah, I showed you guys the bleeders and that's just the truth of it. And uh, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get my money back uh, from the dealer for the brake bleed. Obviously what fluid has been passed through the car is in the car. I'm not getting money back on that. But um, it was slightly disappointing, man. Uh, I'm not going to drop the name of the dealer. I've actually been really happy with them up, up until this point. But I think long story short, don't go to your dealership for service on these cars. Um, they're going to treat your car, you know, just like, you know, a Chevy Blazer that comes through or a Silverado or something that they see every single day. Uh, my first brake fluid change was done actually really well. They did a really solid job in and out in an hour, but um, yeah, there's no room for mistakes like this, at least in my opinion. So my fault. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's stopping good now. I had made my own little bottle bleeder set up, so that was kind of cool. Um, I actually had a longer tube in this when I did it, but that's 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 why I'm telling you guys don't don't go to the dealership for for bleeds. And yeah, that sucks, but um, I'm stopping a hell of a lot better now. And uh, you know, it was only ninety bucks for them to bleed the brakes, but apparently they didn't get it done right this time. And you know you're gonna know if that if that outside bleeder is actually bleeding or not. Like it's gonna be pretty obvious right away. You crack it and nothing comes out of it, and the fluid comes out from underneath the bleeder. Well, then you know the bleeder's not bleeding. So I think the guy just did it and just got over it and just did the inside and called it a day. But I still got one extra bleeder just in case, and that's cool. It came with a pack of two, and uh, I might try fixing this one. Might try uh, seeing if I could unstick it with some brake fluid or something like that. But. I promise you all more updates on the car and this is part of that. Um, I got other things where people touch my car and fuck things up too or mess things up. And uh, yeah, that's that's another story for another video. But anyways guys, this is a little bit of stories for the garage and I hope you guys like it. Stay tuned, like, sub, more from Hot One Ellie coming.